Can a human being change their own DNA? Greetings, dear ones, I'm Cryon of Mag Magnetic Service. And this is a big question, is it not? And of course, the answer in three dimensions, the answer in medical science, the answer that you've been given all your life is, of course not. That's the human genome you were born with. You can't change that. So we're taking a look at something that is exceptionally controversial, has yet to be proven in any way. My answer is yes, they can. A human, any human, all humans, have the ability to do something quite astonishing when it comes to DNA. An old paradigm of DNA says that you get what you get. All those base pairs, by the way, there are four, they don't change. And in addition, there is an enormous amount of information not understood in DNA, but it doesn't change. And they would get that in science by saying, we measure your DNA when you're born, we measure it at your last breath, we're gonna find the same DNA, therefore it doesn't change. Now we open the door. You don't know what you don't know. First of all, science has acknowledged totally that they have no idea, really, truly, what 90% of DNA really does. It seems to be an instruction manual. It doesn't control the genes of the body. It does something else completely. The jury is still out on what it actually does. So with that fact, how can any science look you in the eye and say something that is absolutely true about DNA when it's not even understood in itself? Did you get that part? If you don't understand truly what it does, how can you make statements about what it does? <laughs> or if you can change it? I'll tell you this. The thing that can change DNA is an energy that has not yet been proven to mainstream science as an energy. Do you know where I'm going with this? Human consciousness is an energy. It can move things. Human consciousness is a far grander and greater energy than you ever thought it could be. Science is starting to see this now, and certain portions of science is proving it. And the rest of science will come along eventually as it gets into that proof itself. And when you start to see that the Consciousness, consciousness and thoughts even of a human being are actual energy, then it's going to have to have structure. Energy must have structure. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Energy just is, is a, an animal, you might say, of itself, but it's understood. Once consciousness is seen as energy, then it becomes feasible that perhaps consciousness could change your DNA. What do you already know, everyone who's listening to this, about thoughts and consciousness? If you're angry, does your chemistry change? Do I have to explain that? Of course it does. If you're a troubled person, does disease seem to be more attractive to you or attracted to you over a long period of time? The answer is yes, and they've shown that too. A peaceful person lives longer. So the result of those statements is that your thoughts change chemistry. And you all know that already. Therefore, why is it such a stretch? to think that the chemistry of your body is not then involved in your DNA. It is. Your thoughts can start to, say, to change certain chemistry that can then actually, I'm going to call it activation of certain portions of your DNA that lie dormant, ready to be activated. 
What a concept. Now turn the page. Have you ever heard of the term quantum biology? If you have not, you should look it up. There are quantum biologists. Now these are the biologists who are studying the idea that all human cellular structure is multidimensional, beyond 4D. Now that particular premise has been with you over 20 years because there's evidence that humans have the kind of chemistry, cellular structure, even DNA, which responds to multidimensional energies. If you have something that responds to multidimensional energies, the chances are it is multidimensional itself. It'd be like this. If you wondered whether a plant could hear, and you have a sound, and it responds, you know something about the plant, don't you? It's responding to sound even without ears. By the way, that's been proven as well. And so the same kinds of things with humans are showing that your DNA may actually have multidimensionality to it. In other words, part of your DNA has an added perhaps dimensionality that is not seen or apparently used in any way in your reality. The answer to the question that I started with, dear ones, is yes, you can change your DNA. But you're not changing it in a way that can be measured or seen with any kind of an instrument you have today that measures these things. Because it's being changed in a multidimensional way, especially one set of chromosomes that we've talked about, the ones you can't see. Oh boy. All right, Crying, you just said it's invisible. I'm leaving the channel. Because <laughs> this seems to be the answer to all metaph metaphysical things. Well, it's there, but you can't see it. What if that's true? Can you see all dimensions? Answer me that. You, you answer me. Yes or no? And the answer is, well, uh, no. And what if it was multidimensional? As I've just told you, DNA probably is. Therefore, there could be some things that are not visible. One of them is the 24th pair of chromosomes. You don't have 23. Everything is in groups of four in this universe, in nature, in all things, and so is your DNA. The 24th set is multidimensional, ready, waiting to be activated by consciousness. And here's where it gets good. Welcome to the shift. The shift is upon you, and we've said this now for 34 years. I said it was coming, and now it's here. And the shift is where humanity is starting to awaken to more complete truths. And part of that is your ability to change yourself an examination into your soul, an examination of what spirituality really might mean, not a doctrine, but a reality of your own soul. This is where humans start to change. And you start to see it first in compassion, in kindness, in what humans want together. And it has nothing to do with religion. Have you seen changes on the earth where there are starting to be grand objections to dysfunction, war, unfairness? Have you? It's the first time in history that it's taken hold, isn't it? What does that tell you about human consciousness? And in the process of that awakening, there are parts and pieces of your DNA that are starting then to change and to respond. And what does that mean? And what does it do? What's the bottom line of a changing DNA? Oh boy, what a question. And here is the answer. 
compassion, kindness, longer life, more inventions, smarter human beings, more compassionate human beings, less dysfunction. You want the list to continue? This is the future of humanity. And I told you it was coming. It comes way too slow for you, for me. It has to happen generationally over periods of time where parents start realizing what they're teaching their children or what they're saying to their children. That's the first part. So the children will, will start to grow up without the programming of what they can't do or, or so many other things that are not even real. There is a big dysfunction going on still on this planet of what you really think is real or true. That is starting to change. Can a human being actually change their DNA? Yes, and it's being done right under your noses and you don't have to be a spiritual person to do it. It's happening almost automatically as humans start this amazing transformation of consciousness and they start to see a bigger picture of who they are, what things are about, what they can do, what consciousness truly is, what multidimensionality might mean. And that's when the inventions start. The ones where inner guidance and the little invention fairy <laughs> seems to tap many humans on the shoulder all at once on the world and say, take a look at this. You didn't think of this, did you? And that's where it gets good. The lack of poverty, feeding every single human who's hungry, power for everyone, water for everyone, that is all there. It's already there. And starting to be activated, multidimensionality is there in your cellular structure, in your DNA, going right to your brain. Dear ones, welcome to the beginning of a new earth. I'm crying in love with humanity and for good reason. And so it is. Hi everyone, the short channeling you just saw from Cryon is just a sample of a great weekly 90 minute program called Healing Wednesday. Are you interested? I invite you to find out more at cryonmasters.com slash hw.